see what that's about because I feel like people say all curl types and then your hair just looks like some dried up shriveled up mess. channel today I'm gonna to be checking out a weed ad product I think this is the first time I've tried out a weed ad product on my channel don't quote me on that because I've been trying out a lot but I want to say this is the first time I'm trying one of their products out but before we jump into that definitely stop what you're doing hit that subscribe button and the bell button so you're notified anytime that I do any type of uploads so today we're gonna to be checking out the weed ad ultra nourishing cleansing oil shampoo who it cleanses and replenish essential moisture it's sulfate free it's for all curl types so we really see what that's about because i feel like people say all curl types and then your hair just looks like some dried up shriveled up mess <laughs> so this weed ad curl recovery ultra nourishing cleansing oil retails for 26 dollars or eight and a half fluid ounces. You can pick it up from Sally's Beauty, I wanna say. I don't know if they're in Sally's, but I know you can pick it up from Ulta. And um, this product says, the benefits are water activated, gently removes dirt and buildup while never stripping your hair, rebuilds, nourishes, and protects the hair, sustains hydration and resists damage while enhancing body and shine. So, and it says it's great for all curl types. So some of the key ingredients are mafru butter, I said that wrong, softens the hair follicles and improves the hair's elasticity, and then melon seed oil that makes the hair sleek, smooth, and without weight. So the product is supposed to cleanse your hair without stripping it of its any moistures, bouncy, shiny, and definitely lightweight. So I am going to expect this product to perform as so you're charging people $26 for a shampoo so hopefully you can live up to the expectation that you put out on your website. I will also say a lot of times on my channel I do review a lot of clarifying shampoos and I don't end up liking it because the moisture balance is just never there but I feel like clarifying shampoos never promote moisture. So this one is actually saying that it's not gonna strip any moisture out of your hair so we're gonna see how this product actually works. So the first things first, it says gently massage through wet hair, rinse thoroughly and follow with conditioner. Avoid in eyes and a bit of eye contact flush with cold water. So it says that this brand has been around since 1984. That's a pretty long time. This does have a 12 month life shelf and it is sulfate free. I'm assuming it's not anything else free because the bottle does not promote that. It's just telling you that there is no sulfates in it. So I'm pretty sure if I look on the back of the ingredients, there are some type of silicones in here probably. Yes, there are silicones in here. So if you don't like silicones, you will probably not like this shampoo at all. I'm not really that against silicones, but I know a lot of people are against silicones. So just wanted to throw that out there. I did do a double cleanse if you notice that in the video do I think the double cleanse was necessary no but I definitely wanted to do it just before I say if it cleanses or if it doesn't I definitely do feel like on the first cleanse it definitely did a very fine job I definitely feel like my hair is cleansed I don't feel like it's dried or stripped of like the moisture do I feel like it added any moisture back into it no but I definitely don't think it took anything out of my hair that I didn't already have 
I also feel like my hair is definitely lightweight. I don't feel like it's any additional shinier than what it than what the bottle claims. I don't feel like it added any luster or anything like that. I definitely don't feel like it defined any of my curls or anything like that. I just feel like it is a a-okay shampoo. It will get the job done. Low porosity girls, if you don't have anything else to find, you can pick this up. Now, do I feel like it's worth $26? I mean, that's to each its own because I feel like natural shampoos are kind of still expensive. And the size versus the amounts, eh, it's not that bad. Would I say this would be our first choice? Probably not, but it does do the job. I wasn't like completely sold on it, you know, for 26 bucks, but I definitely will say this, this is not by any means the worst shampoo that I've ever come across. This is no, it's not the worst shampoo. It cleanses your hair. It doesn't strip any additional moisture that you didn't already have in your hair. Granted, it doesn't add anything in it, but my hair does not feel like the Sahara Desert. I will say that. So sound off in the comment section. Let me know if you guys tried anything else from this brand. I will say this definitely does have silicones in it. So if you are not a silicone girl, you won't like this. The slip was bomb on this. The lather was bomb as well. So I will say all that in a nutshell, but everybody has a preference. Would I recommend this to people who uh, needed a shampoo or was okay with silicones? Yes. Would I recommend this to the complete natural girls or I don't like silicones, pyramids, stuff like that. No, this is not going to be your item that you're going to pick up. This is just for the girls who are okay with silicones, have kind of like an oily texture, and not necessarily like overly drying hair. This will do the job, and I feel like it does it pretty well. You don't need to double cleanse. I feel like a little bit definitely goes a long way just because the lather, the everything's just so like, it's a lot in this bottle. But... Sound up in the comment section. Let me know if you guys tried anything else and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.